In this interview, I interviewed John Manego, and he tells us about his passion for dance, why it's so important for you to take workshops to grow as a dancer, and how dancing got him through college. Yes, it did. Yeah. Hello, my name is Edwin, and I'm the coordinator of the IE Social, taking place every third Saturday of the month at the Dance Center in Redlands. I'm here with John Manego. Some would consider him the missing link between bachata and zoo. John's going to be performing on February the 18th, and he's going to be joining us. And how's it going, John? It's going really good. All right. Thanks, Simon. How are you? I'm, I'm super. <laughs> you're doing That's awesome. Yeah, you're doing swell. <laughs> I'm doing great. You're doing good. John, tell us about your passion for dance. Where? I mean, how did you how did you start off in this? Two words: Michael Jackson. Five years old, saw a video of Michael Jackson doing bad. Who's bad? And I just, I loved his dancing, so I copied what he did. Um, like, if you want me to show you, I can, but eventually I can. Um, but yeah, the passion started there, and then I eventually got into like break dancing and popping. I started doing all these cool little isolations. I joined teams, did competitions and popping, break dancing, and stuff like that. Tell us why it's so important for dancers to take workshops. Well, with workshops, you get definitely more of an in-depth flow in your dancing. You can ask questions to instructors. You can um, obviously connect with other people. There's so many different people in a workshop that you can get um, how to connect with them. Also, you can gain a fast um, like social network just by going to any of these workshops. Um, I teach eight hours of workshops for weekends at my events at Chat Uprising, mm -hmm. and um, literally light bulbs go off for everybody. They understand technique, or the, they, they get a lot of technique, and they understand different things about dance that they wouldn't get just by watching YouTube videos. Or okay. Tell me, why are you so passionate about teaching? It changes, it literally changes people's outlook of dance. The way that they see dance, it's different afterwards than it was before. And I think it literally changes um, their thought process. And when your thought process changes, your mindset changes in a more positive light about the dance. And you go out in the dance world, you go out in the social dance world, and you see things very differently. And it's just amazing to, to, um, to just embody dance in a way that's not just oh look I'm just gonna go out and drink and party and go out to like a club or whatever and just like grind on people yeah you know um, right. when you dance partner dancing it's definitely a different atmosphere tell us about your passion infusing zook and bachata um, well initially there wasn't a passion to infuse both of those together but after a while after really getting in depth into Zouk and Bachata together, I thought, why not just try to create something, to create something different? Um, so why not? I, I just started going with my, um, with my ex-partner. We, we went to the gym and we worked hours and hours and hours and hours on trying to figure out how to fuse both of the dances together. And we went out to like clubs, we started like trying it on different people and really cool they liked it and we joined competitions and we got that like, second place at the you know, so social dance competition at Steven Steakhouse and just like everything just started sprouting here and really there really cool so um, the like passion wildfire. wasn't yeah, yeah like wildfire yeah. so the passion wasn't really there initially but after about a year I'm like dang it, this can really go somewhere it can yeah. really 
um, change people's lives in a way that can help them connect with people. So the whole thing is about connection. And it has, I mean, and um, right now would be a good time to tell you, you know, congratulations Thanks. on Thank you. your two year anniversary of Zuchata Uprising. Um, I know it's not easy to do these things and for you to have one year under your belt, let alone two years under your belt, congratulations for that. Um, it speaks to your community, it speaks to your passion, so to many more. <laughs> to Thank many you, more. Edwin. You're so many welcome. Kind words. You're welcome. <laughs> Tell us about college and how dancing can help you get through college. Dance is definitely something where you can go to if there are any issues in school or anything else. So with me, um, I literally, I didn't like use dance in any way, but it helped me kind of relieve a lot of stress yeah. when it came to school. I had a lot of projects in school. I went to graduate school and um, if, if you know about grad school or even undergrad school, it's very stressful. There's a lot of projects that you have to do and within a short period of time. And um, dance really helped me kind of relieve that stress. And it's just, so and it's a healthy way of relieving stress. And there are many other ways. Yeah. yeah. And we'll, we'll do a quick plug there. Cal State San Bernardino. Woo -woo. Um, That's where I went. Yep. So, Masters in Education? Masters in Educational Counseling. Yeah. Boom, boom. We're gonna go into the lightning round, okay? Three, two, one. First thing that comes to mind in these questions, all right? You ready? Yes. All right. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. Completely. Why dogs? Because I had a dog. Okay. I had a dog. All right. She was my favorite. She was my favorite dog ever. All right. Her so name? We Jordan. Is she still with us? No. Oh. She left us a couple of years ago, and it was really sad, but. You know, she was like my best friend. She okay. was my best friend and we we went out on walks together, we went on like on little dates together and stuff. A book every dancer should read. You know, Shiloh said this one. It's the anatomy <laughs> of dance. And I really think that's a very, very useful book in how to coordinate your body with your mind and technique and how to ground yourself. Um, but outside of that, I really think um, like the five love languages, Ooh. five love wow. languages is a good one because you know it covers how to be in relationships and whatnot and um, how to coordinate with each other and how to be in a relationship, a loving one. And um, when it comes to dance, it kind of covers a lot of those aspects. So I, I would say to check that out. That is an amazing book, a book I've read, not saying that I've mastered it, but and I'm <laughs> I haven't trying, mastered any of it. Yeah, I'm trying to work <laughs> on those things. Um, but yeah, it's a phenomenal book. A movie every dancer should see. It's not dirty dancing. It's Can you get back to me on yeah, that? Yeah, okay, okay. We'll see if we get back to that one. Yeah, okay. Would you rather give up your sense of taste or your ability to dance? I would give up my ability to taste. Wow. <laughs> this is real. This Greece. Is real. <laughs> Greece. Greece won. I would say that that movie right there. Sorry, Wait, that just came out. Of okay, <laughs> so we're back on the movie question. Sorry, people. I have ADD, ADD dance uh, team. Yeah. So apparently, the movie he thinks everybody should watch as Grease. a dancer is Go Grease Lightning. We all. An item or an accessory that every dancer should have. That's a different one. Yeah. Yeah. An item or accessory? Yeah. I dance, I feel like a shoe brush or boom combs, gel. Um, definitely smell is very important in oh. the dance world. So okay. have a cologne or deodorant. Please Whoa. take a shower, all that good stuff. Whoa. Because women can smell everything. What's your favorite place in the world that you've ever danced? 
We, I call it bench chata, and it was Shiloh's favorite place as well. Bench chata. Bench chata. We dance on a bench overlooking like this amazing mountain scenery. So I, I would say that was um, legitimately one of the favorite, one of my favorite places. What's the last thing that you grabbed out of the refrigerator? Ugh. Orange juice, kind okay. of boring. All Maybe right. an egg to give to Shallow to cook something. All right. I'm not sure. What's the last <laughs> song that you heard today while taking a shower? Um, sometimes not bachata songs. Sometimes it's like like a Grease song or like an NSYNC or Backstreet Boys song randomly. Wait. I'm sorry. I, wait, no, I, I didn't say that. Okay, <laughs> wait. We're, we might have to edit that question out. Okay. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat? Choose. No, actually, give me an order. <clears throat> Facebook first. Snapchat, because I don't really know how to use it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, sorry. Facebook, Instagram, because I know how to use both of them. Snapchat, I'm still questioning myself. Okay. Well, that does it for the lightning round. Sorry that wasn't so lightning. Uh, <laughs> thank you, John, for participating. Um, once again, congratulations with your second year anniversary. We'll make sure Thank that you. the event page Thank is connected so people can check that out. Uh, what, will you, what would you attribute the success of Zuchata Uprising? I mean, two years, I mean, that's a lot of work. The um, people, the community that you've built, tell us why you believe it's been so successful. Oh, man. To be honest, it's like just each person that walks through there like provide some type of energy, like positive energy. Everything about it is about energy. It's not. It's not like um, we have fancy everything. Um, it's very humble. It's, it's a very humble place, a very gracious place that people can just let off some steam and dance until five or six in the morning. Yes, five wow. or six in the morning. And You're the rooster crow. <laughs> seriously, the sun comes up and we're still we're still cleaning up. Still cleaning wow. up and. We do it literally for the community. Like everything that that I think about or that Shiloh thinks about is how to help the community grow. And growing the community is my number one thing. It's like my number one passion is to grow both communities, the zoo community and the bachata community. And um, I want people to dabble in both of them and see which one they like. And Tell us about upcoming projects that you have. Um, well, there, there is going to be something where I'm going to have a bunch of guys get together and dance. So it's going to be, yeah, there's probably going to be a men's styling coming up very soon. You're going to see something. Men's styling, yes. <clears throat> so, anyway, will, will it require a deep V? <laughs> no, that's, no, that's okay. Mike Zuniga. Oh, okay, Mike okay. Zuniga. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Which, by the way, he got me started in bachata. Mike wow. Mike Zuniga did. Uh oh, here we go. God. A plug to Mr. Mike yes. Z. MZ in the house. He's going to be teaching that workshop. So I, I recommend going to that workshop, checking him out. Um, we have workshops coming up March 11th, most likely. It's going to be eight hours of workshops. It's going to be the whole Zoom Chatter Uprising thing. Yeah. New project itself. It's like the men's styling. Um, we're going to be going to different um, realms in our mm -hmm. in our dancing. I definitely want to reach a higher level in dancing. So... But I'm, I'm going to be trying new different styles and stuff like that. And yeah, it's so awesome. Yeah. Tell us about how people can, can connect with you. Facebook and her phone number. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I should give that out to you here, but definitely connect on Facebook. Or if you see me, I'm very, you know, I like to talk to people. That's my thing. So I'd rather you talk to me or just give me a text or Facebook. Yeah. So thank you, John, for being here with us. Make sure to uh, keep an eye out for Zuchata Uprising. We'll put the link for that. Also, keep an eye out for IE Social coming at you February the 18th. We'll put the event page for that. John and Shiloh will be there performing. Um, and we hope you enjoyed this interview. Please like, share it with people. Um, get the word out. And we will talk to you later. Peace. See you guys. Ah, ah, we got ah, interview bombed. Ah. Inner bomb. By yeah. the way, he really, really, really does like Backstreet Boys. And oh, I think oh it's always in the God. car. 
John likes Backstreet Boys. Oh, and they have, uh, they have remixes out there now. But oh, my goodness. They're not surprising. I'm cutting this. I'm cutting this.